Okay, so I'm going to create a 16 gig Raspberry Pi 3 OSMC. So I want to use the whole 16 gig for OSMC. So OSMC download. So what you're going to do, so this one is, if you download from the OSX, you're going to get OSMC installer. Or you can get the uh, image let's do the OSMC installer okay now make sure you have to have internet so let's do don't worry okay open so I'm gonna select English Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 and I'm gonna select version latest version Okay, and we're going to put it on an SD card. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the wireless connection. So it will automatically load it for you. So, the UPA. So, we're going to have the key. Okay. So, they see it right away. Go. Accept. So, it depends on your it's downloading as 3.8. A meg per second. You're going to lose all the data. I'm sure it's formatting it right now. So now it's ready for showtime. OSMC. A Raspberry Pi 3 on a 64 gig micro SD. So the first thing we want to do is to format this. So let's do it. Here, EXFAT by default. So let's do that. The next one we want to do is to go to the internet and download. So that's we want to do it for Raspberry Pi, and we're going to do it for Windows. Let's download this one. Show in folder. Right click. Run the administrator. Choose the language on Raspberry Pi two and three, and go next. So the version newest one is 4.1, next. On an SD card, yes. I want to use the uh, wired connection. Let's use wireless connection also. Okay, so choose the SID. So that one. So it's grabbing the software on the internet. Okay, after it's downloaded, yes, so it's writing the image to the device. Alright, ready for showtime. So this is a Raspberry Pi 3 and I'm going to install this one we just created a 64 gig using Windows 10 so let's see I'm going to plug it in here now the difference between the 2 and the 3 is that the 2 has the spring loaded uh, connector but this one doesn't so you just push all the way in so you don't feel any spring pushing and eject or anything like that this is for the power 
this one right here is the uh, micro USB power for on the phone and stuff like that and this is the HDMI I go to the TV and I connect it to Apple hard drive iPod power so it should have enough power to turn this one on so to control this one um, for installation you need the keyboard so I'm going to plug in the keyboard here and important thing is that we also need the uh, Ethernet to make it faster okay we're not ready to turn it on we may need a mouse too so Raspberry Pi 3 has built-in Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth so we're going to see how it works so you don't need to buy the ten dollars uh, Bluetooth but my experience is that you have to use the external one to stream music from iPod or iPhone or smartphone to this without skipping so the internal one is not very good and this is the external D-Link for the Wi-Fi that I use for the Raspberry Pi 2 I may need it too alright so it's been doing its thing automatically so it's formatting the device and installing the files pretty good so this one is a 64 gig uh, micro SD formatted with EXFAT using Windows 10. Okay, so it's done. It's rebooted itself. English US. Yes. We're going to choose the uh, time zone. America. And we're going to use Los Angeles. Okay. So the name now, I'm going to put something that different OSMC high 3 64 gigabytes okay accept SSH service is enabled you need that make sure it's highlighted white and continue so I'm going to choose OSMC or Classic. So I'm going to use Classic. So exit. Okay, we're done. We reboot it, and now we're going to connect to the remote connection. Now I see OSMC. 64 gig that we just made so we connect to that yes OSMC so they create in cache let's take a while okay so it's done what we're gonna do is gonna paste command from OSMC So on the main screen, you can go to system, go to my OSMC, that's where you're setting all your stuff. So we can go to the network, so it's wired, so I put the wired one already, so this is wireless. Dog and monkey is already connected because we set it when we created the uh, micro SD from the window. To do is enable the Bluetooth and we also do the start and stop recovery ah, I see the iPhone 6 so I'll pair with pin pair wow it's connected It's horrible. The original one is really bad. 
doesn't really work. So I add the external one on and reboot. Now it's connected perfect. Okay, so I'm going to try to pair with the um, pair with pin. Yes. Wow, that's pretty good. So let's see if I can play the music. Wow, the OSMC really did it this time. Perfect. Go back. Settings. So now appearance. So we already have the appearance there. International. That's fine. Video. Library. I'm not using the TV, so I'm not touching that. Music. Slideshow. I want to do four seconds. Services. Web server. Remote control. Airplay. Make sure it's on. System. Video output. Okay. So I'll use desktop. Audio output. I want to use analog. So in case I need to use the composite. Okay, so now we're going to add ons. We're going to go to Cody. Video add on. So, what we want to do is to install YouTube. So, YouTube. Okay, so YouTube. Install it. After you install YouTube, you have to sign in to your account twice in order for it to work. Okay, it's downloading. Okay, so it's enabled. We're going to go to Files, WD Cloud. So go to Files, I want to add video. It's not going to browse, right? The WD Cloud has the um, external USB attached to it, which I can use this one. We will stream a lot faster. So, we'll see. Oh, we can choose every single one in there. So, what I want to do is this one right here. Okay, so movie MP4, that's what I want. So I added that. It should show up now. So I also add window SMB. It's for internal with the username and password. So all of them are in there. Okay. So we add it as family. And we'll click OK. So now I have both of them. It should come up now. OK. So we have family and movies. You want to play movies? All right, it's working. Do the LS. So we have movies, music picture okay so I stick in the um, USB external device and I plug it into the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 so now if you do LS media my Patriot is come up PWD 
So we are at home o OSMC. Let's do LS Media Patriot 32 GB Music. So those are all the one in there. Okay, we're gonna sudo cp to make sure minus r that's all and then we're gonna go to music so it's gonna copy every single folder and whatever into this music folder so it's going to take a while.